yabba dabba doo <laughs> Well, friends, this is the great nomad call out. I've been called out by my good buddy, Mike O'Connor over at Living Free, and he was called out by, I'm not sure who he was called out by, I don't remember, uh, but uh, I think James at Wanderlust Estate is the fellow that started the call-out business. He called out Camper Van Kevin, and Camper Van Kevin declined. But uh, there's a bunch of us that uh, are responding to the uh, Great Nomad New Year's call-out. So here goes mine. yabba dabba doo <laughs> So I'm going down here to Castle Rock, one of the prettiest places in all of Lake Havasu. It's the kind of place that Scott and Terry of Destination Open Road like to go and video. And they are the couple that I'm calling out. The nicest couple on YouTube. Dabba, dabba, dabba doo. Ha ho! Pretty overcast and cool day, so there's not too many people here. Actually, there's zero cars here. <laughs> Think, bandit. Hmm? Should we go outside and go for a walk? Hmm? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, yeah, Papa. I wanna go for a walk. Yeah. Can you take me? Can, can you can you take me out for a walk, Papa? Yeah. I, I wanna find some some coyote to bite or something. No. If you're gonna bite a coyote, you gotta stay in the car. Yeah. So you gotta promise that you won't bite a coyote. Okay, I won't, Papa. Hey, we gotta we gotta put this on. Hey, hey, don't don't argue. Don't argue. Man, Dad. There. Okay. Okay, Castle Rock, here we come. Woohoo! Uh, if you're a uh, regular Papa and the Bandit RV Life YouTube channel watcher, then you'll know that the Bandit and I came to Castle Rock eh, not quite a year ago, did a video walking around it, and we had a good time. This is just a uh, Big old hunk of sedimentary rock that uh, sits alongside Lake Havasu. And right behind it is a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous blue bay. You'll see it in just a minute. It's not too, too long of a walk. that beautiful bay out there isn't that gorgeous yeah there's some ducks quacking over there too you hear those ducks bandit bandit what are you doing over there you, you sniffing some goose poop or something huh I, I don't know what it is Papa but it sure smells kind of invigorating 
Hmm, okay, well, come on. We can't stay right here the whole time. We gotta go, come on. Beautiful, beautiful bay. Well, we can go, we can walk up Castle Rock here a little ways. little hike coming up Castle Rock I almost uh, fell right there whoa and look out there isn't that great kind of an overcast day Sorry that I'm breathing so hard. Uh, it's a pretty good climb for an old man. Oh, there's that duck down there that was quacking at us. Coot, duck, something. This is a beautiful bay. Castle Rock Bay hooks into Lake Havasu, which of course is part of the Colorado River. And uh, This rock is uh, goes up there. I suppose from the trail that I came in on, this rock is probably 60 or 75 feet high. It's pretty high. But if you, if you look at it here, it's, uh, it's uh, sedimentary. It's just uh, compressed dirt. From a flood, maybe the flood of Noah or some other flood. That, uh, compressed it down and uh, as the waters receded it turned it into a big pile of rock. Oh there is the the badlands that I was just uh, driving the tracker through right over there and there's some more of the sedimentary rock out there. It's a beautiful place. This is actually one of my favorite places at Lake Havasu because it's just so gorgeous. The contrast of the desert and uh, the scalped mountains. There's almost no vegetation up on top there. It's just like some sagebrush or something growing up there. And, but right down here where the the bay cuts into the to the desert it has this beautiful lush green area where there's a lot of animal habitat in there it's beautiful and in the hot summertime like it was when I was here last year boy there were there were just uh, people that were enjoying that warm water out there because the water just heats up when the Sun is out and it's 95 degrees out here that water gets to be about 75 or 80 it's like a bathtub and then uh, as we look out in the distance let me zoom in just a little bit we can see the desert on the California side and uh, 
some of the houses out in the desert over there. And you see the Chimawehi Mountains, I think they're called. So that would be the Chimawehi Indian Reservation over there. This is a gorgeous place. I love it here. Hey, you might have noticed that I'm wearing my uh, Washington Huskies uh, hat and uh, actually my Washington Huskies jacket as well. And that's because uh, the people that I'm honoring in my first uh, Nomad Challenge 2020 video is Scott and Terry from Destination Open Road. I met Scott and Terry about uh, two and a half years ago in August of 2017 at the Quinault Ocean Beach uh, Casino Resort, which is over at Ocean Shores. And these folks are just awesome folks. They're sweet. They're nice. I always enjoy their videos. And they, they like to camp in scenic places. And so when I thought that I would do a shout out to them, a call out to them, uh, it was with this place here at Castle Rock in mind. So I'm sh calling you out, Scott and Terry. You got to do a call out too now for somebody else. So calling you out, I'm going to pray for you every day, every time. The Holy Spirit brings you to mind. You're going to just get bombarded with prayer. <laughs> Yabba -dabba -doo! So, Scott and Terry, it's your turn to choose somebody who you'll pray for this year. One of the people in our nomad community would be awesome. Friends that are watching this video, go to Destination Open Roads video and make a comment that they've been called out by Papa and the Bandit.